All right, the no reaction video. Mm -hmm. Censored beeps in this video. Why do I bring a soda for a video? Public hearing. I don't know. Edited for legal reasons from the SCP agency. In association with the SCP website, secure, contain, protect. This video contains disturbing content, violent content, scary content, flashing lights, and sudden loud noises. Viewer discretion advised. Mm-hmm. Thanks for the warning. The SCP Foundation is an organization of numerous doctors, researchers, and agents aiming to understand and catalog anomalous objects and keep them from getting into the wrong hands. SCP objects are classified into three main categories of safety. Safe, which is very or understood odd, though. objects which can be left Where alone with these no major consequences. SCPs come from are not well like of course they might come from space or in our dimensions or and somewhere underground beneath the earth that will break or something. And do harm we still don't get it where they all come from. And or even we don't know about the one single scenario. SCP. That's mostly the SCP-173, a statue. Like, how is that impossible? Like, it, it was came for a ritual to create a living statue that can snap people's necks? Doesn't make sense. We need to know. Like, do we, do we need to know the backstory? Probably. Object class, Euclid. SCP-1351 is a cave huh. located within the Mammoth Cave National Park. In Kentucky. The cave. Interestingly enough, this cave in no way follows the rules of gravity, space, nor time. As the warp tunnel beneath this sanctuary, the Earth's surface wraps around itself to form its own gravitational point. Basically, the floor begins to twist, and the one rock wall twists alongside it, reassuming positions parallel to its original location. It's been reported that oh, the gravity yeah. within the cave depends on the situation and angle of the floor. The cave enters with a hole in the ceiling, which is unusual in comparison to the majority of the caves in the National Park. However, the temporal anomalies within the cave itself has gained the most attention, as no one can give logical reason to explain why they happen, or how they happen. A standard perimeter fence and signs warning away unauthorized personnel and the access road to the entrance of SCP-1351 is marked Authorized Vehicles Only to match nearby park roads which are not open to the general public. The permanent security team are the United States National Park Rangers and civilian speleologists. SCP-1351 was most recently discovered in 1995 by National Park Service speleologists mapping the cavern to determine if it connected to the main cave system in the park. Three expedition teams surveyed the interior between 1995 and 2002, determining the cavern to be sufficiently safe for a permanent research presence. Research operations are still ongoing. Yeah, I don't want to go to that cave. SCP-049. Uh oh. Object class Euclid. SCP-049 is another humanoid character who, in addition to his mask, wears a black hooded robe, replicating that of which worn by plague doctors in 16th century Europe. Further studies reveal that his clue Do is actually still a part keep of SCP-049's physical still figure, to this very day? and although it feels like leather, Maybe not. it is actually the same material as its muscle tissue. 049's touch is invariably lethal to humans, causing the victim to suffer and then die. The plague doctor will dissect the body, Which is very injecting how that certain chemicals meant to into do the that. victim. After like, a period of a few minutes, some sort the victim of will resume vital weapon? signs and appear to reanimate. However, it seems completely without higher brain functions and will wander aimlessly until it encounters another living human. 
At that point, the adrenaline and endorphin levels increase to approximately 300% as it will attempt to kill any human beings it can find before returning to its mindless state and wandering until it comes across more humans. Detailed autopsies of 049's victims have found several unusual substances within the body, including and in the sternum region. However, several have yet to be identified and remain Ew. classified. The behavior of SCP-049 is unpredictable, and although it doesn't seem too menacing, the physical appearance is far from inviting. SCP-049 is held in a research sector heavily guarded and monitored at all times. I it's been noted the SCP not sure how they is even meant to uh, As noted, contain in one of the, the doctor from getting doctor. into uh, one single room if they won't get themselves get, I don't know, attacked by getting hand grab or whatnot. What? It's a A laboratory. It is quite marvelous. I now find it no wonder I've seen so few victims of the disease in here. Yeah. You see, I thought you incapable of speech. I'm somewhat startled, you, uh... This is familiar yeah. audio, but oh, it was remade to so a different sir, voice. You prefer not to. Most victims of the disease are quite melancholy, and I do not react at all well to conversation. I've seen you several times now, and have not detected the disease in you. Therefore, I assume you are also a doctor. Yes, actually. Call me But what disease are you talking about? Like a doctor, the Great Pestilence. What else? Great Pestilence? Oh, the plague. Yeah, I should have seen that coming. But no one here is infected, I can assure you. I'm not. Doctor, I can assure you the pestilence is here, and I can sense it. It is my duty in life to read the world of it. My cure is most effective. Your cure? Your cure has cost hundreds of lives. Your cure is faulty. Good doctor. My cure is most effective. Explain how it is effective. Answer me! Dr. S*** acknowledges authorized personnel to report to Lab 15A immediately. Which this interview we is over. Know to the third day to if his, I will now I don't be placed know, back in the containment. Cure is most and effective. Recording. Maybe he only sees it how he imagines it. I don't know. Could it? SCP-1382. Object class: Euclid. Hmm. SCP-1382 is a Red Sea Mark water buoy floating on the surface of Lake Michigan. All air and sea traffic must be redirected away from containment site. Although SCP-1382 has taken a fair amount of structural damage during its lifetime, it still stands tall. Occasionally flashing out the SOS distress signal in Morse code in 10 second intervals. This mysterious buoy is anchored to a downed airliner lying deep beneath the surface of the water named Flight 441. This derelict aircraft contains the skeletal remains of 56 passengers and crew members who begin to animate, obtaining their natural body temperature of 37.0 degrees Celsius as registered by thermal imaging scanners and assume into the crash position in their seats. After 13 seconds of activity, all instances of passengers turn to face SCP-1382. They remain in this position until SCP-1382 ceases its SOS, at which point they collapse and become inert. It has been reported that the passengers are distressed due to the accounts before the crash, as opposed to the crash itself, implying that every passenger is stuck in some kind of time loop. Not good. Man, these are really dark. SCP-002 Object Class Euclid 
SCP-002 resembles no, a tumorous, no. fleshy growth with a volume of roughly 60 centimeter cubed. Would anyone An would iron go in that thing? On or one side if it does. leads to its interior, which appears to be a standard low rent apartment of modest size. You think the everybody would go of the in that? The sphere is decorated like a low cost rented apartment with furniture made up from biological matter such as bone, hair, and more, all of which are from the human body. In addition to this, there is also a window to be found on the interior, though no such breach can be seen when trying to view but what about the, the floor? exterior. Because it looks like it. All matter tested thus far like I'm not sure how independent a or human fragmented can DNA make it look like that into a each floor. object inside of the room. There have been seven cases of Foundation personnel disappearing after entering this SCP for examination, and roughly at the same time, new furniture could be found inside of the room, consisting of a lamp and some rugs. The furniture was, again, made up of the biological matter of the human body, presumably the biological matter of the seven personnel that mysteriously disappeared. As detailed in the archive under the Mulhausen report, SCP-002 was first discovered in a small crater in northern <laughs> where it struck Earth from orbit in 1994. I wouldn't go to SCP-804. Object class, Keter. Yeah. SCP-804 is said to be the remnants of a sculpture found by a group of artists. Said sculpture consists of a model, transparent globe with a few smaller globes situated around it. Whilst the globes swivel on the axis that they were constructed on, any man-made material within a hundred meter radius, including the tissue of a human being, will gradually decay. When it comes to inanimate objects, such as clothes, buildings, or anything else of the sort, the speed of decay is slightly accelerated. Biologically speaking, however, the corrosion is of the very body odd. is like, a great where deal does slower this thing come and requires from? a long it's mostly period the item of exposure that we to cause to any have. Like it has some sort of damage. globe, but... This mainly consists is it from a of different loss dimension, body mass, or someone doing some strange ritual experiment, or what? But both of these aspects can be fixed with the correct amount of medical care. Which is still very odd. Exposed about this to thing. whatever force this like, SCP emits like for an extended human period making, of like time, human made that will cause the look, skeleton to collapse and inevitably this? lead to death. Tests have been carried out to see if the results obtained from the reaction with human matter would be the same as with animal matter. But to no avail. Because of the nature of SCP-804, it is not contained within any Foundation facility, believing the effects of the SCP could destroy its own containment and seriously compromise any other containment nearby. Oh, that ain't good. I wonder why we never see these type of SCPs in the game. SCP-2998. Like, Object class, safe. Hmm? SCP-2998 oh. is an anomalous Wait. radio signal Wait a minute. Up from all quarters of the solar system. It said you glitched. It's not yet known where the origin of this signal is Why did it change or the when save? it began its transmission, but the it SCP Foundation glitched. made it a point to prevent all personal radios from detecting and listening to SCP-2998 until further research is conducted into the safety of the signal, as well as its origin. SCP-2998 is just a consistent electromagnetic signal which previews white noise at all times. No means have been found to decode the signal until 2011, when the signal was also found to contain a video transmission of a humanoid entity floating aimlessly That doesn't look a like a room. humanoid. Like no background alien. information has thus far like, been obtained about what this see message this could look, possibly mean. Everybody would know that the uh, does look like an alien. Because everybody knows the Due classic look of an alien with a big head and strange looking large eyes. It can be presumed might look that like whatever that. it was, it was in clear physical distress. 
It was initially theorized that the Foundation may be picking up signals from a television show, but this was considered highly unlikely due to the random and complex encoding of the transmission. We simply do not know. I have a feeling that's mostly Euclid because it would switch to safe for some reason. SCP-1875 Object Class Euclid SCP-1875 is a Victorian-era chess machine consisting of a steel chessboard table, a drive shaft, a stationary steam engine, and a suit of 18th century samurai armor. However, the machine itself is powered by a biological system that controls a matrix of 64 electromagnets using an engine created from the combined brain tissue of the twin daughters of a Russian chess prodigy. A complete set of 32 pieces carved in the oriental style from human bone with each piece affixed to a thin 0.31 centimeter base pad of ferromagnetic iron. Effectively, the whole thing runs on the souls of the two little girls. It is said that the souls will perform illegal moves during a game and make illogical turns whilst playing. So two of those have died containment from that thing no use of data or something else. They die and possess that. To be present. The Euclid ranking of this SCP seems very appropriate, considering the fact that we do not fully understand how it works, nor why it works. Nor no one. What works within it. Only the premise is understood at this point. I wonder what happens if it doesn't have those type of electric cells or whatnot. I wonder what happens next. SCP-823, Object Class Euclid. SCP-823 is an abandoned museum oh. located in a It is responsible for the deaths of an unfathomably large amount of people, nicknamed Bloody Sunday, because of the 231 people dying in the theme park due to the accidents of staff members and customers alike. If this was the majority to be of these deaths a were horrifically thing. violent. Like, Some it? examples include a mascot found dead of suffocation, a group of people found decapitated on a roller coaster, a couple fused together on a ride, and a mutilated man found in the Hall of Mirrors. Foundation personnel are found surveying the area, and are instructed to avoid an area known as the Red Zone. The Red Zone is an area where no one can enter, not even by those of the highest authority. It isn't stated as to why the Red Zone cannot be accessed, but it does claim Sometimes that anyone that these who attempts SAPs to enter might will be, be real, terminated like by sniper fire. Is this the thing still out there? Like, and where in the, the, lo the wherever the location is? Personnel on is this place are immediately prepared to still use standing? Ear plugs and withdraw from their positions to a two-kilometer period beyond the currently established yellow zone and inform Foundation scientific personnel immediately. If it is still standing, why didn't they didn't destroy it? It would cause a lot of lives to die from that thing. SCP-1981 Object like Class Safe SCP-1981, or commonly referred to as Ronald Reagan cut up whilst talking, is a strange distorted oh. videotape of Ronald Reagan making his evil empire speech. The tape itself is like made that. from all the normal materials that you would expect to get from a Betamax tape. The tape was originally encountered by a filing clerk in the Ronald Reagan Presidential Library in 1991, Where does 11 this tape years come from, after this original speech was made. During the tape, Reagan's face seems to fall apart, cuts opening up on his face and eyes becoming bruised. The video continues until his vocal cords are severed. Occasionally, during the beginning of the tape, a figure clothed in black robes and a pointed hood appears in the background, which replaces another member of the press detail. SCP-1981 is uh, kept inside of a secure like video storage you? in the media archive of Site <laughs> Years of natural magnetic interference have severely degraded SCP-1981's signal quality, making it even more difficult to sift meaningful information from continued playbacks. 
1981. Sounds like a year, of course. Hmm. SCP-342. Object class, Euclid. SCP-342 normally takes the form of a mass transit ticket for the closest form of mass transportation to its current location. At the moment, it takes the form of a train ticket departing from transit station. When held by a sentient person for any length of time, it will eventually change form into a transit ticket for a form of transportation that its holder desires to use. The transformation always takes place when not being directly or indirectly observed. No recordings of SCP-342 changing its form exist at this time. It Anyone who uses SCP-342 to board a vehicle is unable to exit the vehicle by any means. When the vehicle reaches the end of its route, the one using the ticket will cease to exist in our reality. Any uh. user of this SCP claims to feel extremely paranoid and have an uncomfortable and uncontrollable dread consume them. Specifically, the way in which they describe their emotions when in contact with the ticket resembles acute paranoid schizophrenia as all will witness a perception of darkness outside of their vehicle, including a mass amount of fog or the portrayal of night. Witness reports claim that victims mumble to themselves or grow an intense fear of other passengers and the conductor. There have been several experiments with different transportation networks, each yielding different results. So one simple train to that station make things crazy. <laughs> to a fog, to a darkness outside. SCP-610. Object class, Keto. Oh no. SCP-610 no. is a contagious no. virus that starts out with a small rash, which will then lead to intense itching and skin sensitivity. However, oh. after three hours, the skin disease will spread in such a way that skin will begin to scar and cover in blemishes around the chest and arm region, completely consuming the affected person after a full five hours of being infected. Following this is the life functions ceasing for a full three minutes before starting again at a rate of two or three times the regular activity rate for a standard human being. This leads to the sprouting of several limbs, like a leg or an arm. The skin disease can affect one in such a way that the head will become so misshapen it will barely be recognizable as being a human. The victim will sit in one place and root itself to the surroundings that it is located in, consuming objects around it with his or her own flesh. The area that SCP-610 affects is close to Lake Baikal in southern Siberia, and it was first reported from the Russian government through undisclosable channels. The reports consisted primarily of disappearances of farmers in the region, and were not considered until local police and government agents failed to report within a 72-hour period. Observation of SCP-610 infected settlements have been established using artificial methods such as remote robots and drones. The data returned from these observations, coupled with the openly aggressive nature of the infected to attempt to spread SCP-610, has resulted in the Keter classification. However, so long as nothing is allowed to enter or leave the infected areas, it is considered to be a neutralized threat. How could they contain that? Like, why did- like, they could have destroyed it, but why didn't they do that? Like, why did they didn't even destroy all SCP these? SCP-122 Object Class, Keter As strange as it may sound, SCP-122 is a child's nightlight designed to look like a star. This product is unregistered and has no brand name written anywhere on the structure, so it's safe to presume that this nightlight is but an anomaly of its kind. Reports indicate that when it is in an unpowered state, 
the night light will affect anyone within a 500 meter radius of its location. When anyone enters the radius, they will slip into an REM sleep and will be sent into a comatose state until the night light has recharged itself. While comatose, subjects will claim that they have seen humanoid figures that are formed from a black, translucent mass of shadow from somewhere around the light. Whoa, whoa, figures have been described the? as sentient, with physical properties similar to that of the subject. In a powered state, the sleep pattern of the subject will be affected greatly. Claims have been made that the subjects will have disturbing and psychologically tormenting dreams that have often led to insomnia. SCP-122 was first discovered within the Linnell Children's Hospital on the <laughs> after several reports of its manifestations reached locally embedded agents. Recovered documents indicate that a patient brought SCP-122 when being admitted. However, no record of the patient's identity has been found. SCP-122 is stored in a standard containment chamber containing a single electrical outlet. Personnel are instructed to routinely monitor SCP-122 at all times and never let it enter an unpowered state. During a breach which caused the death of 17 site personnel, security footage witnessed several maintenance personnel tampering with the SCP-122 well, chamber When questioned, I don't the subjects need to have claimed one of they had done so room. under duress, saying that a canary was not allowing them to sleep until they released SCP-122. Affected subjects were given Class A amnesthetics, and containment procedures have been revised. Luckily, I don't need to buy those. <laughs> SCP-513, Object Class Euclid. SCP-513 is a simple bell coated in a oh, thick layer of you rust. again. <laughs> All attempts to remove the rust that engulfs the entire Sometimes when you have to ring that bell until you see something. Having tested but you using both chemical something when you ring the bell. Chemical, there are literally no markings or symbols to be seen, so it is impossible to identify the exact origin. Upon SCP-513's discovery, it was also found that the bell's clapper was strapped tightly to one of the interior walls of the thick metal structure using strong industrial tape. Attached to the bell was a piece of paper with the text written on it which read, You've seen it, now he can hear you. You've touched it, now he can see you. Never ring it. If you hear it, he can touch you. Mm, Any I sentient being to hear no. the bell chime <laughs> no. shows overt signs of extreme anxiety with an increased heart rate and blood pressure. After some time, those exposed to the sound claim to catch glimpses of another humanoid sentient being in their peripheral vision. Whenever the exposure victim attempts to look directly at this other being, it simply runs in the other direction, not leaving any traces. <laughs> Due to the severity of the anxiety caused by the knowledge of this stalking, that? victims are commonly deprived of sleep and often suffer from clinical depression. Those who were able to fall unconscious state that they are physically assaulted by the stalking being, which flees when the victim awakes. All description taken from several different Foundation personnel all match the same criteria. A humanoid being with long arms and large hands. This being is not visible to those who have been exposed Don't to the you dare the show the which face. leads researchers blindsided. SCP-513 is located in a one cubic meter block of gelatin and contained within a soundproofed, climate-controlled cell, which is inspected daily for any degradation or loss of integrity. Is that the only one being, like, that is only in contact with that only one bell. Like, is that the only one being, or there's plenty more of it? Zero, three, five. Oh. Object class, oh. heater. No. SCP-035 no. is a white ceramic comedy mask that will often change its appearance to its binary opposite. 
This change will also cause its appearance to change in any video footage. Look, I have plenty of masks, bro. I don't need to wear yours. I have plenty of masks I made so I can wear those. Only. Sorry. It's been stated that a vicious liquid will constantly leak from its orifices, which has been proven to be corrosive to any material that may come in contact with it, aside from the mask itself. The name of the liquid is unknown and is anomalous in its appearance, being only visible from the front and showing no signs of existence when looking from the back of the mask. A true fear factor to consider would be the fact that any person to come within two meters of the mask will have a strange mm. compulsion to put the mask on. Would you all folks After want to wear that so, mask? The individual will have a different waveform sent through their brain, causing them to become brain dead. However, the consciousness of SCP-035 is still very much present and will continue to possess and control the actions that the victim makes. In addition to this, SCP-035 has been shown to be very manipulative, being able to corrupt and cause sudden fluctuations to the psychological mindset of any other person within a certain distance of the mask. Subjects have been quoted to say that it has an intimate knowledge of how the human brain works and would be able to change the views of any individual if given enough time. SCP-035 has been found to be able to possess anything that has a humanoid shape, including mannequins, corpses, and even statues. The subject has been able to motivate all into movement, removing the need to expose live subjects. Personnel within 10 meters of SCP-035 have recently reported feeling unease, stating that they can hear unintelligible whispering. Several others have suffered from severe migraines. The object has been monitored, but there is no change in its dormant behavior, and no sounds have been recorded. SCP-035 hmm. is kept within a hermetically sealed only glass case, the voices in their no heads. fewer than four inches thick. This case is to be contained within a steel, iron, and lead-shielded room at all times. Doors are to be triple locked at all times, with the exception of allowing personnel in or out. Guards remain outside at all times and are not allowed within the containment room under any Whoa. circumstances. The mouth can move for herself. <laughs> SCP-439 Object Class Euclid SCP-439 is an insect of unknown origin that uses the human body as a habitat yeah. for its colony. The process begins by the queen entering the body via the mouth when the subject is asleep. The insect will crawl down the trachea, creating a nest within the lungs. A few hours after awakening, subjects will complain of an ever-increasing tightness of the chest, followed by a consistent, sharp pain located in the abdomen. Soon after, the victim will begin to suffer from rabid fibrodysplasia ossificans progressiva, a disease which turns muscle tissue into bone. The sheer spread of this procedure causes some bone matter to breach through the skin and become exposed, causing a great deal of pain to the subject at hand. In a matter of three days, the subject's skeletal structure will have distorted and stretched in such a way that their body is no longer recognizable as human, taking the shape of a circle and anchoring itself to its current location and feeding off the organs within the body. Prior to this, the victim will have felt the strong compulsion to seek shelter of some sort in a small, enclosed space. The host, now in its new territory, creates a hive of insects consisting of warriors, workers, and drones within this new skeletal cage. In a particularly disturbing development, Dr. Anderson performed a range of experiments to determine the extent of damage to the host body after it has finished the transformation into a hive. While it was previously discovered in autopsy that portions of the brain are hollowed out to serve as food, others are left intact, presumably to regulate what bodily functions continue. 
while the eyes are eventually reached and used as a food source. Opening the eyelids and examining them with a flashlight discovered that the host's eyes followed the beam. Experimentation was ceased and no further testing was scheduled. That's disturbing and dark. SCP-895 Object Class Euclid SCP-895 is an oak wood coffin which was recovered by the SCP team when there were reports of strange footage within the surveillance tapes regarding this particular object. SCP-895 is stored in an isolated underground containment cell at a depth of approximately 100 meters. This SCP is reported to cause disturbance to photography or video equipment within a range of 50 meters. These disturbances include vivid hallucinations oh, I remember and the graphic photo images. Or the video. The strangest well, fact I remember that one at is the that time. those physically in the presence of SCP-895 will not experience any of these hallucinations. Which may it's be hallucination that you've seen these type of things in your mind or you're seeing it for real. Will cause severe psychological trauma and hysteria from the subject. And this happened in 2012, Again, the same year when SCP containment breach was made. Away from the subject, those who are physically present with the SCP will not experience any kind of the trauma. And in previous operations, Whoa, no wait. units have even made physical contact with What's the coffin. That? And apparently, some paranormal activity has been reported if the lead probably is a removed. body. A dead An audio body. excerpt was recovered off of site. Now playing audio excerpt from the SCP-895 recovery log. Team One Command. All civilians have been detained and evacuated. You are clear to move in and capture. Command One Lead. Roger. We are moving in. We are. Inside the lobby, video be check. Team one, command. We're seeing blood on the walls. Please confirm. Yeah, they're hallucinating, I guess. Negative command. It's clean in here. Nothing out of the ordinary. Wait, they can't see it, but only the it's cameras. Team one, advise possible momentic properties in effect. Are in the storage area, object If it located. ain't there, but I think they might put their hands on the wall if they can right. feel it. It's moving. Team 1, confirm. Object appears to be alive and moving. Command negative, we see no movement. 2, open it up. Command 1, lead. The object appears to be empty. But the camera sees it. Command, do you copy? Command, do you copy? Shit! We're fucking out! Close that thing! Now! End of recording. Alright, looking at the second security monitor of the SCP-895 maintenance tunnel. Now, the personnel here have witnessed this paranormal occurrence over the past few days now. It's not as devastating as the activity that was first witnessed when we found it. Maybe it's getting progressively weaker? We aren't sure. Anyway, if you see right here, at the 4 minute mark, the camera feed starts getting more interference, okay? Normally, this is usual, but see right here. You see this outline of some sort of figure looming over the camera? We're not sure what that is, but alright, there's this one over here, at the far back wall this four-legged creature emerges, gets near the camera, and vanishes. Can't really pinpoint what these are. That's... They are spirits of SCP-895. Not creepy as well, like... We're not sure. Like, the camera do see it, but sometimes they... People inside the room, they might can't hear it. But sometimes if they have to touch through one of the walls of the floor, if SCP they might feel it, I don't know, it's like they're invisible Object or something. Class, Euclid. Or SCP they're hallucinating. Or more real. commonly referred to as the peripheral jumper is an abnormally flexible green creature able to flex each part of its body. The muscle tissue of the Blood peripheral jumper allows for right. rapid and accurate movements 
and using this ability lurks just out of range of human peripheral vision, hence its name. In events of a containment breach, all personnel are told to oh, watch okay, for a flicker in the corner of their eyes, as this is an evident sign of SCP-372's presence. Even more interesting, or rather terrifying, is its sensory organ. I just saw it. It allows for echolocation and identification of energy transfer. Instead of vision-sensitive eyes, there's no hiding from this sentient blur. Any thermal energy a person emits will be taken note of. SCP-372 is contained in a cell, 5 meters by 4 meters by 2 meters, lined with reinforced plexiglass. Embedded into each of the four walls of the cell are infrared motion detectors. Five more to go. SCP-1048 Object Class Keter Is that what I SCP think it is? SCP-1048 oh, is no. a small teddy bear approximately 33 centimeters in height. Not safe. Testing. Not safe. The they think it was safe no because it's just a quality quality teddy bear, but it's not. Discernible from a non-sapient teddy bear. Subject is capable of moving of its own accord and can communicate through a small range of gestures. The he subject safe, regularly but it's shows affection true. to individuals in ways found in by most people. Affection is usually given in the form of a hug to the lower leg, but subject has also been observed dancing, jumping in place, and in two separate events, has even drawn childlike pictures for janitorial staff. However, I seven he was months after the its first capture, random occurrences concluded that SCP-1048 oh, could actually mind. create non-identical duplicates of itself. Dr. Carver has suggested that SCP-1048 uses its endearing qualities to lull those around it into a false sense of security, allowing it to collect materials to produce these creations. The first incident mainly consisted of the discovery of SCP-1048 giving a tour to an almost identical copy of itself, although the material of the duplicate was fully formed with human ears. Yeah. When staff attempted to recapture the two objects, the duplicate let out an ear-splitting, high-pitched cry, which caused severe pain in the eyes and ears of all Foundation personnel within a five-meter distance. Every person afflicted with this symptom died within three minutes. This resulted in the death of seven personnel, including the entire security team. Autopsies revealed the cause of death to be asphyxiation caused by an abundance of ear-like growths manifesting in the mouth and esophagi of all victims. The whereabouts of SCP-1048 and its clones are currently unknown, though are still believed to be somewhere in Site-24. Yes, dark. For that little SCP-0 Oh no! Object class, Euclid. SCP-096 measures roughly two and a half meters in height, with barely any muscle mass or body hair. That should change the Euclid to Keter. Proportion to its body. Each arm measuring at a length of 1.5 meters. The activity of SCP-096 is far from normal spending most of its days pacing the eastern wall of its cell. The only real issue reveals itself when somebody sees its face. From this point onwards, SCP-096 will become severely emotionally distressed, covering its face with its sickly, twisted arms whilst crying, screaming, huh. and even babbling. Like, it may get similar it to Enderman to for a bit. Like, you look at the face, face it freaked react and attack speeds you. of 35 Similar to that idea. Per hour and even higher though the speed typically depends on the distance between the viewer and the SCP Besides, what enough, is this the location SCP's of the viewer does not seem to change in the behavior but of why, SCP-096 like, as it will have a constant why did it react when some people look at its face? 
of where Does the that some sort of react at all some sort of defecting into Never it? Whenever zero nine six actually reaches the person, it will proceed to kill them and somehow leave no traces of the victim's biological matter. Besides, it does have a look of a human, is but in an airtight much more uh, at all times. taller. Weekly checks for any cracks or holes are mandatory. Hmm. Because of the nature of the SCP, only two cloaked video surveillance tools are used inside its cell. I tell people make the dumb idea that SCP-096 is the ring, laser detectors but that's not to true. ensure its presence inside the cell. AU audio log was recovered from an interview between Dr. and Captain detailing Zulu-9's first incident with SCP-096. Now playing AU Audio Log 1557. It always sucks ass to get the initial retrieval duty. You have no idea what the damn thing is capable of besides what jacked up information the field techies can scrape up. And you're lucky if they even tell you the whole story. They told us to bag and tag. Didn't tell us jack shit about not looking at the damn thing. Could you describe your mission, please? Well, everybody we really wants to look at the one with my team and reason. one backup with Zulu 9B and Dr. <laughs> we spotted the target about two clicks north of our patrol path. I'm guessing he wasn't facing our direction, else he would have taken us out then and there. Your report says SCP-096. If SCP was close to be innocent, but can't control. Actually, it was negative. <laughs> anyway, we landed, approached the target, and Corporal <laughs> got ready to bag it. That's mm. what doctor called. If he would have covered the to it, that's what cover it with a bag. The uh, could that even work though? The whole covering the bag sucked. on his face. <laughs> but could it still be affected by someone looking at it now? Yeah, well, I never saw its face. Well, good for you. squad did, and they paid for it. Could you describe it a little more, please? Yeah. It started screaming at us and crying. Not animal roaring. Sounded exactly like a person. Really creepy. We started firing and it picked up Corporal and ripped off his leg. We were blowing chunks out of the target round after round. Didn't do jack shit. And that's when you ordered the use of an um, 84 HEDT launcher? An anti tank gun. Started carrying it ever since we had some of the SCPS get loose. Ooh. I've seen those tear through tanks like tissue. There was significant damage to SCP-096. It didn't even flinch. It kept tearing apart my squad, but with half of its torso gone. No, they can't but kill that thing. If Damn. it was, it wasn't showing it. What if it SCP-1 have its its blood, can't find it? Like, could that work if it only just knocked the neck? Hurt at all. So, no actual structural damage. How many rounds would you say were fired at SCP-096? At the least, a thousand. Ooh. Our door gunner kept his COVID-19 on it for at least 20 seconds. 20 fucking seconds. That's 650 caliber rounds pumped into that thing. Might as well have been spitting at it. And this is when Zulu-9B arrived? Zulu-9B managed to get a bag over its head and it just sat down. We got it into the chopper and got it here. Okay, well we that works. So never mind about myself talking about the bag. SCP is face. Would you like to view it? No. You no. Know, after hearing that thing screams and the screams of my men. Don't look at it. I don't think I want to put a face on what I heard. All right. Well, I believe we're done here. Thank you, Captain. Good. That's a bad idea. If you have Mr. to follow the face. Bad idea. Delete the follow. Distressed. I hereby request SCP-096 be terminated as soon as possible. This is Doc. Audio log. So wait, why did you use January a fire 5th, to burn it or put it on lava? Would that work? End of recording. Like, would that work for to put it on lava? Could it? SCP or what happens if you leave it in space? Oh no. Euclid. Peter. Probably one Peter. of the most popular SCP monsters. Why are they put in each SCP-173 is a humanoid statue made from concrete Peter. and other rock material. 
Keener. Of discoloration. Keener. As innocent as the object class makes this monster sound, the capabilities of the statue. There's are no way you can beat it from having your face. Second, even when blinking, if you try to do the thing when I saw a, this animation move. video that Scout versus the SCP by doing this type of eye choice. thing by having no one eye closed and wait for the other one to room. blink, and you might have a chance. Blinking, like, could that work? I don't know. SCP-173 cannot move when direct eye contact is made. Meaning that if a constant line of sight is made with this statue, it can't move. Recent reports indicated scraping sounds of stone originating from of inside course the container it's a statue, no one is present inside, or no camp. Still somewhere. doesn't make sense. It is very day of how it was, was made, how it could uh, came from here. Changed. Like where the did it come from? On the floor was some people make some animated some videos or feces and periods or whatnot that was and made by humans or so one time someone did something origin of these stupid or it came alive for no reason. The enclosure must be cleaned on a bi-weekly basis. If there was some sort of ritual or alien done something, I don't know. Nobody knows. SCP-106 Object Class Keter. SCP-106 <laughs> appears to be an elderly humanoid female, no. heavily decomposed. No. One of the creepiest aspects of this SCP is that its behavior Don't is completely unpredictable and can remain motionless for days before attacking. Any material that comes in contact with SCP-106 will proceed to corrode due to the mucous matter that covers this monster's body. It is proven that this SCP can actually walk through solid matter, hmm. such as walls, and is believed to travel into its pocket dimension that it uses as a lair for prey. As for attacking, it assaults major organs and arteries to completely disable the victims before transporting them to the pocket dimension. SCP-106 is to be contained in a sealed container. Hmm. Comprised that of idea for attack steel. similar to um, the container will be so fly plant killer creature you know those type of plants creatures who can kill a fly by squashing it so quickly to land or maybe one of those type of spiders on the desert or whatnot until one of the insects came closer for a sneak attack under the sand and tap you know something like that appears to be used as a loaning tactic SCP-106 will emerge from this state in a very agitated emotion and will attack and abduct staff and cause gross damage to its containment cell and the site at large. SCP-106 appears to hunt and attack based on desire and not hunger. SCP-106 will attack and collect multiple prey items during a hunting behavior event, keeping many alive in the pocket dimension for extended periods of time. Only a SCP little bit. SCP 106 has no terminal limit and appears to collect a random number of prey items during an event. One more. Here we go, folks. Here we go. SCP 087. Object class Euclid. SCP 087 is an unlit no. platform staircase. Stairs no, descend at 38 no, degree angle for 13 no, steps. Before not reaching this one. a semi-circular platform of approximately 3 meters no. in diameter. No. The design of SCP-087 no. limits subjects to a no. visual range of approximately 1.5 flights. A light source is required for any subjects exploring SCP-087, as there are no lighting fixtures or windows this present. This is a nightmare. No. Lighting source is brighter than 75 watts, have shown to be ineffective, as SCP-087 seems to absorb excess light. I remember playing it. The depth of descent calculated from and exploration And it was very four, creepy at the time. Be far beyond both the possible Even I play it on Roblox too. the building and geological surroundings. At this time, you even watch it on my video SCP too as well, playing it that those animal. years ago. Within this chamber of stairs, the sound of a pleading child can be heard, but the source cannot be found. 
even descending further down the flight of stairs. If that's the sound of the kid, volume, like if that be like a, a kid or some sort of poster SCP making a kid sound. Search with an SCP because sometimes you look at face, might look like figure. a kid, but it's much more SCP different. 0871. Like, look at that. Video recorded look explorations at that. witnessed a pale face Sad with face for no a kid pupils, look like nostrils, or a visible mouth. Although it has been determined that SCP-087 Maybe there's some theory that there was a the kid down the there and dies and uh, causing the fair case and becomes like some sort of extreme SCP goes to kill people when they go down. In some cases, personnel have fallen unconscious in their blind panic like, and are never rescued. We don't know if this thing the is. nature of SCP-087 There's some other type of SCPs unclear. down in that staircase with different faces. You know, that type of creepy smile of face, a bloody smile, and a white dot eyes, or that one with the white face or something. Of the remember that old type of look at the of staircase of 087, of that old game version? The interior, Someone like that. 087. Ever since... Heavy maintenance was performed Besides, on the door. why does this only show that only face without seeing the whole body? All the like, the, is it holding a flashlight to just point it up to the face? I don't know. It's very odd, you know? But that's a good video. But very dark, too. I mean, that's a... The heck? Okay, okay, anyways, uh, Tats Top Videos is a very good channel. Just stop that! Just stop that! If I might do that for my one of my videos, I don't know. But that's a very good video, very dark too, because I already said that, but still. That's a very good one. Even learning about the SCPs, if you just had to go on Wikipedia or something. Hmm. Besides, for the ending of the game of SCP Containment Breach, it's still a little bit odd to me about since they had to blow up the facility if they kill off every single SCP. If they did, if I kill 096 and 173, where are the more figures? Hmm. Cause there's one simple part of the end alternate ending about you're escaping until you have um I have to look back to that one SCP so I won't forget about the number. It's one zero six. I get attacked by one of those soldiers, but they had some sort of railgun or something that could kill it. Something like that. But um if they that idea did all did in fact kill all of them. But if it didn't, if it didn't in fact kill each of the SCPs, if they would have survived, could there ever be a sequel for SCP? Because I always wish for a sequel. Because years ago when I was young, when I when I first see it, even times go by when I always watching and playing a bit for the game, I always wish if there could be a sequel. Because... There's got to be reason about those endings, though. Something about those endings means something. If it could mean something what happened to our main uh, player that we are, what happened to him? Like, there's one part with the nuke, but we didn't manage to escape. Or we get killed by the... What? By one of those soldiers. But... Um... What happens that? We need to know... If there could be a sequel, of course it's been years since it last, since it was first made, 2012. But could there ever be a sequel? Cause I wish it for it to be. Cause I truly love those type of old years and the time when Amnesia, Slenderman, and uh, some other games back in 2010 through 2013. Those were the days at the time when I was young. Cause I can't miss out. Because I know that Amnesia is getting a third. For a game, I'm excited. Besides, will ever slender the arrival get itself in our sequel? Like I've heard one. Cause I wish for it to be. Cause I want to know what happens next. Anyways, folks, hope you enjoyed the reaction video because this means a lot. Cause 
I too would like to know more about the SCP. It's a lot more. Even when Trevor Henderson, the very good horror artist who made those type of new creatures, that people would think that Siren Head or just other creatures that he made are mostly SCPs. Besides, if I made my own creatures, would you all think those are mostly for SCP stuff? Would it? If all of these creatures run the Wikipedia or Google are mostly are from SCP, could it? I don't know. Like what? If Thunderman is from SCP, like imagine that. Okay, folks. Hope you enjoyed the reaction video. This is Lord of Flames here. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, folks. Have a wonderful day.